Tokyo Drama Island 2023 is one of the best total drama seasons ever made, but it is still missing certain aspects that would make it truly excellent. A lot of changes were made in this season. Some were really good, and some were just... meh. So stay tuned, because in today's episode, we'll talk about what stopped the reboot from reaching its full potential. But before we start, we want to thank the YouTuber Switchy for the inspiration of this video. He has a series named The Comprehensive Roast of Total Drama that features a lot of in-depth analysis of the show's seasons. Make sure to check him out. We will leave his YouTube channel link in the description below. We love you, Switchy, and yeah, maybe a collab soon? Treat me like white teeth. don't get me dirty. In order to discover the missed potential of this season, we will analyze things from two perspectives. First of all, from a technical point of view, Total Drama 2023 is missing some nostalgic elements. The original opening song, although maintaining the chorus, I wanna be famous, has undergone some changes to the lyrics. The creators used terms that would make the new viewers relate more to the song, such as slay or you know the drill. Also, the original guitar theme song was replaced with a more energetic remix of it. The guitar was really popular in the 2000s, so it makes sense to change it to try to appeal to the younger audience instead of trying to please us, the older fans. Additionally, the beloved host, Chris McLean, who was originally voiced by Christian Potenza, has been replaced by Terry McGurran. Despite the fans' appreciation of McGurran's performance, we simply feel like Potenza's voice was more iconic and that it fitted better for Chris McLean's character. Just have a listen yourself. Who will sink and who will stay afloat? Find out right now on Total Drama Island. As always, I'm your host, Chris McLean, and this is Total Drama Island. Despite being one of the most awaited seasons, Total Drama Island was not yet officially released in the USA or even in Canada. Instead, the Italian version was leaked on the same date as the first episode aired. The viewers found the English version of the show and that's how we actually got Total Drama Island 2023. Although important, these aspects do not represent the essence of the season. But instead, there are three things that really define a season. The theme, the characters, and the storyline. When we look at all the six seasons, from the original Total Drama Island to Pocket 2 Island, and the most recent season, we notice that each one has something that makes it unique. And that thing is the theme of the season. In 2007, Total Drama Island came as an animated parody of reality shows, such as Survivor or Fear Factor. This season represents the vanilla version of the series, and features competitors that resemble teenager stereotypes from the 2000s. You could tell a lot about them just from their appearance. For example, we can tell that Owen will be funny, Harold will be a geek, Duncan will have an emo badass vibe, and Jeff will be a party enthusiast. Because of her nostalgia and the fact that each character had a main character vibe, we grew more emotionally attracted to the first generation cast. After the first Total Drama, each season would have a different plot twist to make the viewers more interested. In Total Drama Action, the theme of competition is completely changed. The show takes place in an abandoned film lot somewhere in Toronto, Ontario, and the challenges are inspired by famous movies. In Season 3, the contestants are now traveling all over the world in the Total Drama Jumbo Jet. The challenges take place in different locations like New York, the Pyramids, and even Area 51. After three seasons with the same cast, the Fresh TV team decided to shake things up for the fans and add a new set of contestants. Even though Total Drama Revenge of the Island returned to the initial beloved Camp Awanaqua, it added the element of radioactivity giving the season a greater air of danger and intensity. Unfortunately, we cannot say the same about Total Drama Island 2023, which, although it took over the theme of the first season, didn't add anything new, and this caused a lack in the season's originality. We don't want to remember this season as just a reboot of the original Total Drama Island. It's like showing up to a costume party dressed as the exact same character as last year. Sure, it's familiar, but where's the innovation, people? While this season still feels unique in its own way, this may affect how iconic it will become in our memories. Regardless of how popular the current season is, we should remember that almost every season was well-liked when it first came out. 
Uh, except for Total Drama All-Stars, of course. But as time passed, the most important thing for each season was whether people still enjoyed watching it again after the initial excitement was over. Moving forward, the challenges are very much the same as in Total Drama Island. Besides the animal-themed challenges that are very alike to the original season, we have a classic challenge with disgusting food. The only visible difference is that in the Total Drama Island 2023, instead of the original vomiting animation, we are presented with Rainbow Barf. This could just be a coincidence, or we can guess that Chef had a special ingredient. <laughs> Drain the rainbow, taste the rainbow. By the way, if you enjoyed this video until now, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss out on any new content. We will personally come to your house and deliver you a pack of Skittles if you do so. Despite the striking similarities to the original format, Total Drama Island 2023 seems to be missing that extra spice in its challenges that could highlight the significant and perhaps even hidden features of the participants. For example, in the good old days of Total Drama Island, there were certain episodes like Camp Castaways, Phobia Factor, and Not Quite Famous, which highlighted the fears and personality of the characters beyond the apparent. These types of challenges made us emotionally connect with the characters. Regrettably, in the new season, there are only two episodes that achieve this. The second one, Pirates of the Cabagian, where we see how contestants handle leadership roles, and the fourth one, Numbskull Island, which reveals their teamwork and general strategies. Not only that, but in the first season, Although being competitive, the contestants shared a friendly vibe between each other outside the challenges. There were lots of scenes of them just hanging around each other. Unfortunately, this never really happens in Total Drama 2023. But moving forward, another standout aspect of the OG Total Drama is the iconicity of the contestants. From the original cast, every character had a specific design that perfectly resembled their persona. Even from the first minutes of introduction, we know almost exactly what to expect from the characters. Although at first, this seems like a bad thing, in fact, this was the only reason why the revelations about other parts of their personality seemed so interesting to us. Let's take Duncan for example. In his first minutes on the island, he threatens Chris, roasts Noah, and clearly imposes his attitude as a delinquent freshly released from juvie. But later in the season, he catches all of us off guard when he shows his softer side to the world. Thanks, Duncan. You're the best. You're a good guy. What? No, I'm not. You are. You're actually nice. Secondly, Courtney was first portrayed as a perfectionist girl who obeyed all the rules. She was like that one and only girl that could color inside the lines in kindergarten. But when she falls in love with Duncan, we are surprised to see the more rebellious side of her. This aspect not only added a sprinkle of excitement to the mix, but also hooked fans to see what was behind contestants' appearances. That is, until the latest season. Even though the difference between appearance and personality in some characters, such as Damien, Raj, Priya, and Julia is really interesting, we have no way to truly understand such a large number of characters in only a few episodes. But the real problem is that they missed out on the potential of the competitor's relationship. Let's dive deeper into these what-if situations. First of all, instead of keeping things basic between Emma and Chase, it would have been interesting to see Emma moving forward and Chase facing an existential crisis. An interesting plot twist in this case would have been a relationship between Emma and Wayne. As we know, throughout the season, Wayne proved to be a caring and supportive person, very careful to make the ones he cares about happy. That dynamic would be totally opposed to Chase's careless interaction with Emma and could have resulted in a more interesting character development. In this case, Emma would learn more self-respect and be in a much healthier relationship. Also, Chase would start to mature. However, the relationship between Emma and Wayne could only be rivaled by a relationship between Damien and Priya. Although at first glance they do not seem to have many things in common, they have a strong chemistry in different situations and a unique dynamic. However, the greatest missed opportunity in this season is Priya's liberation from her parents' control. A highly intriguing scenario would have unfolded if she had lost in the finale and instead of letting her parents criticize her, 
she would have stood up to them and started making her own decisions for the first time. This would create a huge underdog story if she would have won the second season of Total Drama Island 2023. Speaking of the second season, skip this next part if you don't want any spoilers. It would have been interesting to see a more complex and less unidimensional scary girl. But unfortunately, as most of us know, in the new leak, we found out that that will never happen in the future season. Even worse, Lauren will be the first eliminated contestant due to her creepy personality. By the way, her new outfit sucks. But luckily, there was one thing that saved the new season. That nostalgic element that every Total Drama fan loves. Drumroll please. The incredible, mind-blowing, awe-inspiring fart jokes. Just kidding folks, let's be real here. This is where Total Drama 2023 went off the rails. Or should we say, off the gas. We don't know for sure if this is a Canadian type of joke, but it sure is gross and not funny at all. Please don't do it again, Fresh TV. We don't enjoy fart jokes, Terry. Even though there were many things that could have been better in Total Drama Island 2023, we should still keep in mind that it was one of the most enjoyable and funniest seasons of all time. What's more important is that it was the first Total Drama season to focus more on being inclusive and diverse. Total Drama Island 2023 introduced the first LGBTQ contestants, Bowie and Raj, who eventually formed a couple and Z, the first contestant with a medical condition. Also, let's not forget about the biggest plot twist of this season. Julio is probably one of the best things to happen to this season. Her decision to embrace her true personality changed the whole dynamic of the season and made it even more enjoyable. Even though this season may have moved away from the classic and nostalgic elements of the original seasons, it actually marked the transition of total drama into a new era. It provided the younger generation with an amazing experience similar to what we had in the past. By doing so, it made sure that the Total Drama story would continue beyond just one generation. Thanks for staying until the end. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also, comment down what you think about this season. See you next time with a brand new video.